Right, so in 2012 they were asked to prove um, the sum of geometric uh, series. And here they give them the proof. And when we have to do that there, we're going to use the same three steps, SAP. So the first one showed that n is equal to 1 is true. All you've got to do, n is equal to 1 in the series. 1 is the first term, which is a, is equal to a, 1 minus r to the power of 1. And both the 1 minus r's cross off. So a is equal to a. So that's straightforward enough and will always be the case. Step two is our assumption, your app. Assume that n is equal to k is true. So simply just replace the n with the k. This is what we always go back to, always go back to the assumption. So highlight that for yourself. So you remember to go back later on if you come across difficulties. So we'll come across this assumption here. And your next thing, the P in SAP is prove. So it's prove that the next term is true. Prove that N is equal to K plus one is true. So we're gonna add it on to the left. And the series one, add on to the left, sub in and right. So when I say sub in and right, you sub in k plus 1 in for your k. And now you add it on to the left. So there's going to be our assumption that we're going to go back to. And then we're going to make a substitution. And then sub it in the right, a to the r. K and plus one and for your K and then your minus one, whatever was already there, and sub it in the right. Now from this, we can see that we have our assumption hidden away there. The first four terms written down all the way up to A to the R K minus one is our assumption. Now we know what that's worth from our assumption. So instead of saying this here, we're going to replace it with this here because they're equals, they're both the same. We can tidy this up a wee bit, plus one, minus one, they disappear. Now we're going to work with this left hand side and get it to look like the right hand side. Um, so there's a wee bit of work involved in this. So firstly we want to uh, uh, tidy this up, get it all onto the same denominator. So we're mul multiplying uh, both things by what it doesn't have, so this needs the 1 minus r. fraction doesn't disappear because we're not solving the equation. Just multiply this out. Minus plus and a minus make a minus a to the r k times r to the 1 over 1 minus r. A bit of space here. Um, let's put it in over here. So minus a to the rk plus a to the rk, they cancel. So we're left with a, there you go, minus a, look what we need to get. We need to get it in this form. So split this up, go back using your rules of indices, a to the rk plus 1. Have we look? Yeah, that is right if we were doing it the reverse way, r to the k times r to the 1 over 1 minus r. Look at the form we needed them. What have they done? They've taken out the taken out the a. So a one minus. There we go. We've shown that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And then you just give your weak conclusion. So four conclusion. We showed going through each of these steps. Show that n is equal to 1 is true. 
Sundaren is equal to k is true. If root n is equal to k plus 1 is true. Therefore true for all values n is an element of n. Uh, that's it. We may have a wee look now in the second bit just to get it done. By writing the recurrent part, the recurrent part, so the bit that repeats itself, is an infinite geometric series. Now once you see infinite and a geometric series, we know we're going to be using this formula here. S to infinity is A1 minus R. To tell us what A is, A is the first term and R is the common ratio. So infinite, and uh, we know we're going to be using that. What we must do though now is get the first term and get the common ratio. Now it's only the recurrent bit, so the 5 doesn't repeat. So we have 5 plus, I'll put it in big square brackets, what repeats. So it's 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. So 5 plus 0 0.21, that's the first two boys, plus 0 0.12021. 0, 0, 2, plus, so that's the first four dealt with. 0 0.000021 and so on and so on. So this is the part that we're going to get the first term of, which is 0 0.21. And now we need to get the common ratio, divide the second term, divided by the first term. So 0 0.021 over 0 0.21. Or the third divided by the second, or the fourth divided by the third. One over a hundred or zero point zero one. We lap it into this here formula. And just simply put that into your calculator and we'll get an answer. Point two one. Seven over thirty three. And then don't forget your 5, add that on. 5 plus 7 over 33 is 5, 7 over 33.